All right, we're getting spooky again today. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick, and today we are watching the 1982 cult classic Slumber Party Massacre. I know that there is a remake that just came out, I think like a week or two ago. I heard about it on one of my favorite podcasts, Horror Queers. If you have not listened to Horror Queers, check it out, it's amazing. Before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you can get notifications for when I upload a new video. Let's watch some campy slasher fun. Ooh, it's grainy, I love it. Apparently it made a decent amount of money considering its budget. It was like 400,000 for the budget and it made like, I think it, I read 3.5 million or something. Mass murderer of five, Russ Thorne escapes. She's got that Sydney nightgown. Oh Are you sleeping there? said, oh. Wait a minute, she just got out of bed. She didn't even change her underwear? Ugh, no, go wash your ass. You lock all the doors and windows. Mom, I'm 18 years old, remember? You will always be my baby. <laughs> 18 years old doesn't mean that somebody can't come in your window. You can't even remember to, to take a damn shower. Ugh. <laughs> this is the real thing. I think I'm in love. With her ass? Would you ever consider dating a younger man? I mean, you know what they say about younger men. Try it, you'll like it. They say jailbait. <laughs> Did she just get randied? Oh my god, she really did just get randied. Is that a drill? Well, shit. Is there a male slumber party massacre? Be. They are really just comp just filming her entire shower. Like the camera literally just panned down so that we can just straightforwardly see her washing her ass. But I mean, she finally washed her ass. Look, what do you have against Valerie anyway? Nothing. She works at it. Did you ever notice how perfect her eyeliner is? She says she didn't like her because of how nice her eyeliner was. What kind of bullshit is that? Hey guys, I've got some provisions for the party today. What a provision. You know, Doritos, Nodos, Benny's, Crystal Meth. <laughs> oh, he drilled her in the forehead and put her... He didn't even bother to put the damn cover on the on the dumpster. He is bold. Oh, Linda, where are you going? I forgot a book in my locker. There's a test on Monday. I have to pass it. Okay, but hurry. They'll be locking the building up soon. Oh, she's dead. The chains around the door handles didn't give you a clue. Oh shit. Oh, I thought she was still holding onto her book and I'm like, girl, the test, forget about the goddamn test. Oh, she's really bleeding, too. She is really bleeding. That's about to give her away. 
No, don't grab it. She's about to grab that damn towel. She needs to find a weapon or something. Did he kill her? This movie is hilarious. <gasps> Look at the cat. She just walked past that cat and didn't even say hi to it. She better die. This man is not wasting any time. Holy shit, I think you broke my back. Oh, look at her go. Well, we'll see you around. Take it easy on that back. You know who that man looked like? That looked like Mr. Incredible. Tell me I'm wrong. Oh my god! Oh, hi Rachel. What are you doing? I was just putting in your peephole. Oh, thanks. Sure. Wait, I'm sorry. The peephole is literally just a hole in the door? She's not putting in the glass? I think someone's here. I gotta go. Wait, was the door just open? No, if you are home and you find that the door is open, get the f out of the house. Oh no, he's in the house. scare you. The door was open. I didn't see you anywhere, so I got worried and I came in. I was just checking the house out. He's a f***ing weirdo. That is a Chester the Molester if I ever saw one. Ooh, what is she making to eat? Is she making a quesadilla? Oh no, she's gonna die before she gets to eat her quesadilla. You see what happens when you don't say hi to the cat? What's the worst that can happen? I mean, so they get mad at us. They could beat the shit out of us. That's right, we did flunk Jim. Three times. <laughs> he said we flunk Jim. I didn't take Jim, I took ROTC. Not that I wanted to take ROTC either, but the gymnasium in my high school, they didn't have a working air conditioner, so I took the, the one that had air conditioning. Cast your eyes on this. Maui Wowie. 100% seedless prime bud. Hmm, Trish, I won't tell if you don't let your parents know I scared you to death. Meaning he wasn't supposed to be in the house. He was probably upstairs sniffing her panties or something. What did the guy see in her anyway? She's beautiful. I think she has a big mouth. Hey, it's not how big your mouth is, it's what's in it that counts. But wait, did she finish the quesadilla? <sighs> I left the burner on. Wait a minute, so she left the glass on the stove with the burner on and that caused the glass to break and 0.5 seconds later she went and she picked it up and immediately touched the glass and it wasn't hot? <laughs> oh, I love that she ran upstairs to look at Sylvester Stallone's ginormous testicles. Google it, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Caught in the act. Who? Got caught in the act? Yeah. Who? Who? In bed. Who? Who? Stephanie and Joe. <gasps> Are Dude, you kidding me? I love how they came over for this sleepover or summer party or whatever, and they were there for like five minutes and then just decided to change into pajamas. Like, why wouldn't you already come in pajamas? This is purely just so that we can see their knockers. homework. 
Oh, he's not using a drill anymore, huh? Yuck. Aww. Why'd she say yuck? <gasps> Hi, Mr. Cartat. Hi, Diane. I hope I didn't startle you. No, not at all. You on a snail hunt? Uh-huh. That makes 53 tonight. So he just walks around all day and chops slugs in half with a meat cleaver? Hot. Well, karma. Oh no, absolutely not. Girl, call the police. Diane, did you remember to close the garage door when you brought the wood in? I don't know. Don't invite her to the slumber party. <gasps> what the f is that? It must be those boys. Close the curtain, Jackie. It's the garage door. I have to check it. No, you need to call the police. You literally just saw somebody standing in your front yard and then just saw that mangled ass Barbie. Jason is the athletic type. He enjoys bike riding and tennis and surfing at dawn. He's a straight A student and planning to be a veterinarian. Yuck! Oh, faker, you were beating off boys in the fifth grade. And I, oh! She said you were beating off boys in the fifth grade. This movie is wild. Kim, where are you? Here it is. I have a seat. What do you think happened? I know what happened. You must have blown a fuse. Stranger outside. Mangled thing. Barbie in the window. The lights go out. So at this rate, they're going to find a dead body? and still not call the police. Hi, gorgeous. So let's go. No, he doesn't look like Mr. Incredible. He looks like the bad guy. We're gonna go out for some beer, okay? We'll be back, okay? You don't have to ask my permission, Diane. I bet he's already dead. Well, that was a bitch, but now it's done. Oh, he full on decapitated him. Holy cow, Here's the pizza. I almost forgot. I'll go get some bucks. We'll get the door. Right. Okay. What's the damage? Six so far. <laughs> That's the killer. He said six so far. How much? Four. Okay, here's one. I'll take all this. You pay with the ten. Okay. okay. Pizza. <laughs> oh, damn. Now everybody knows. I'll go. I'd love to go. You just want them to see you with your hair up like that. You can't go. It's out of the question, all right? Why is her sister dressed like she works at Hooters? Isn't she supposed to be like 15? Ready? Ready. Yeah, announce your f***ing plan. <laughs> this movie is hilarious. You know what I told you today in school, what Val told me about, you know, the French kissing with the tongue and everything like that? Valerie, open up, come on! What was going on in 1982 that it was fashionable to have a lamp that was a duck? Hold on. I would like to purchase one. Hold on. Well, he tried at least. Damn, that's a big trunk. A plus for cargo space. Three, four, four. Shh. Oh, he crawled out. He's dead, all right. The pizza's still good, though. He didn't kill the pizza. Well, life goes on after all. And eating makes me feel best. 
When I feel bad, I'm bored. She is using the f dead body as a plate. <laughs> I'm surprised he's alive. Didn't he put the whole drill through his chest? I mean, I don't know why they don't just like all three of them book it out the front door. We have to let her in and help. They can't get in. Jackie, wait! Jackie! The knife! Girl. Oh, he's in the house now. Hello? I would never just go into someone's house. Like, they do that in movies all the time. Like, no. That's how you get shot. Or drilled, in this case. Remember what happened last time? We should stay right here. If she's here with help, they'll find us. If she's alone, maybe that guy will find her. Maybe they're friends. What? Girl. Her arms must be sore from that reach. Or you think she's in with that guy? I can't believe that. Kind of an extreme reaction to not being invited to the party, wouldn't you say? Oh, he looks crazy as shit. Maybe Diana wants to get help. We ever get through. <laughs> he looks nuts. There you go. No, keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. Wait, she only hit him once and she dropped the bat. And the knife. They did good casting on him because that man looked nuts. Ugh, those blue walls are hideous. Well, that was a good hiding space, actually. Now she better stay put. Don't f***ing move. Girl, you better run. She just ran past an entire wall of tools. If she does not grab a tool, she deserves to, what? Did this man li literally just lay down in the middle of the living room and take a nap in the middle of his massacre? What? Trish? Diane? Anybody home? It's me, Miss Jana. Yeah. Again, just walking into people's homes. And it's not even a friend, it's a teacher. Girl. Why he looked like that? Don't let him advance on you. You gotta, you gotta hold your ground. Also, knock that shit out of his hand. Yep, keep hitting him. That's right. Stab him. Oh, yep. Yep, stab him. See? You gotta stab his ass again. See if you machete. That's right. I don't know why there is a machete in the house in California, but all of you are very pretty. <laughs> Please don't do this. I love you. <laughs> what the? F Ill. Go away. You know you want it. Ugh. He is gross. Come up! Come up! Look at her. She's chasing his ass. Swing. How did the machete do that?
He's not dead, he's still floating. If he was dead, he would have sunk to the bottom. This movie is ridiculous. Okay, so that was Slumber Party Massacre. That movie was ridiculous, over the top, dramatic, and I loved every second of it. That was, that was like pure template for cheesy B-movie ridiculous slasher. That was, that was the bee's knees, let me just tell you. That was hilarious. The acting was ridiculous. The gore was surprisingly, I mean, it didn't always look real, but it was surprisingly over the top. The killer was creepy as shit. Aside from the one girl, I couldn't tell any. I, I, I had total facial face blindness or whatever it's called because I couldn't tell any of them apart. But that was, that was funny, that was campy, and I loved it. Let me know what you thought about this movie down in the comments. Yeah, let me know, that was hilarious. <laughs> I will see you next time.